Delicia London and on my channel we do a lot of fashion and lifestyle related content in today's video we're going to be redecorating my office office slash beauty room because guys if you see it it's a hot 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 mess so I'm gonna give you an overview of this room do not judge me like it's actually dirty right now and let's blame my daughter let's blame her even though she doesn't come in here we need to blame somebody but ourselves. Don't judge me. I know you guys have days where your rooms just look a mess as well. Work sent me a second monitor, but I'm going to tell them they need to come and take this shit back because just it's so big. But yeah, this is what it's looking like. I literally sit here, do my work, do my hair, do everything. So what I really need to do is I need to separate my spaces. So this section is obviously just going to be for work. I need to sort out my bookshelf like everything is just it's too much there's a lot going on in these cupboards guys it's got my daughter's toys in there there's just too much so this section is just going to be for work and then this section I need to get rid of this table we'll not get rid of it because I do sew from time to time so we're going to just pack that away and I think I'm going to get myself like an actual dressing table this big ass box right here is so annoying because it's got a safe in there and the safe just doesn't work so it's just taking up unnecessary space i've also got a storage cupboard in here which is another dump we've got like some old clothes for my daughter that i need to give to charity there's like fabric and all of my sewing stuff and yeah so we just really need to sort out this whole entire room my whole vision for it is to just separate it basically so separate work from like my beauty room so i need to get some furniture some chairs and just all of that like the pictures that are in here aren't relevant anymore so those need to come down because those pictures i got them when i initially like wanted to do lashing and like beauty treatments but I decided that wasn't for me guys if you know me I have like wanted to do a million a million and one things so we're off to home sense and Ikea this morning I'm out of breath let me show you guys my really cute outfit so I'm just wearing this set from Zara and my pink slides are from Primark so this is what it looks like so top so cute it's letting my boobs sit and then leggings and then just pink fluffy slides then you guys know my regular jewelry what i always wear on a day-to-day -day. my whole entire house is a mess but this room we're not even gonna that's not the focus for today the only place that's kind of clean is my kitchen but everywhere else is a mess so yeah we're off to home sense and ikea this morning to pick up some new furniture and i'm literally just going to take you guys through my day of me redecorating i started a digital product business and i'm also going to be starting podcasting so i need that room to be in tip-top condition so that i can actively use it and just like always want to be in there it's going to be my home away from home so i'm literally going to be in there from nine to five getting work done because i've got a lot going on these days and yeah i just need to stay focused and just do what i need to do basically so yeah um i hope you guys enjoyed today's video now let's just go straight to home sense yeah that's the plan today's perfume for the day is just ysl because it smells really good but I actually haven't really been using it much and I think I'm just gonna carry my trusted Gucci bag. I do need to get a new bag now, like these are just being worn to the ground. I like this chair but I didn't want to do a pink theme anymore. I really do like it. I really like this chair. But it has no wheels, so that is a little bit of a problem. 
there's another one which is pink guys i have an obsession with pink which is kind of bad i think this one's more suitable for like an office room i think but how comfy would it be to like sit on for eight hours a day that's the only thing but i really like the gold wheels and it's a decent price as well cat these here oh these are stunning guys it's due to be a lit night tonight my plans for today are gonna be no i'm gonna be rushing so much today because um michael dapp is having a party it's a bloody tracksuit party like who the hell wears tracksuits to a party um so i'm gonna go there tonight with the girls and now i'm kind of confused like do i make this a whole vlog about me decorating my room or do i make this a vlog about a bit of both just like my whole entire day i don't know but anyway guys i'm at ikea now and do you know what's so crazy about tonight my wigs all of my wigs are dirty meaning whichever one i decide to wear it needs to get washed to be honest i've washed a wig like three hours before i needed to go out and it takes me like an hour to get ready so i should have time my throat is is let me not even say anything about my throat you know guys i'm just gonna vlog on my phone because i don't want to be walking around ikea with a big camera so i'm thinking to get this desk but i don't know if it will look weird in my room but i think this makes the most sense because otherwise i was gonna get separate drawers I was gonna get something like this. Which, but I like the fact that this takes up more space because that area is gonna be quite big if it's just such a small desk. So I think this actually might be a good idea. Maybe this instead actually. And it's, it's really affordable as well, regular price, family price, I don't, I'm not a family. The drawers look like that. Okay, I think I'm going to go for this one because this looks more like a dressing table than a desk. I've now seen this one which I think is actually quite cute and very spacious. Maybe I'll go for this one actually. I don't have that much makeup though but i do have like lots of hair products so i'm thinking this might make sense sometimes i genuinely wonder why i always decide to do these things when i'm like by myself there's absolutely no one to help me ever yeah i always buy a bunch of furniture when i'm alone i'm starting to think i have like delayed speech like the time it takes the speech to enter my brain and then leave my life leave my I can't even speak English sometimes. The time it takes for me to like think of what I want to say and then for it to actually leave my mouth is forever. Oh, okay. On our way home now, I need to wash my wig. I need to, I've got bare things to do. Whew. And then I need to like start decorating, clean my office and then start decorating. It's gonna take some time, but we started and that's all that matters i need like a rug i don't need like that much stuff because it's not like i can paint or anything and i don't want to hang anything on the wall i just want to um i'm gonna get like a really big oversized mirror but i'm really excited for that for tonight guys i need to learn i'm gonna start speaking slowly because maybe that's why i never sound like i'm speaking english like i was asking a shop assistant for help today and he was like huh huh I was thinking, what well, can't I speak English or something? So I'm gonna start speaking slowly because sometimes English is just doing me. <laughs> like sometimes it's really just doing me. <clears throat> but yeah, um, just headed home now, and I will speak to you guys when we're inside. You guys gonna see me get ready for tonight? Guys, it's a tracksuit party, so I don't even have faith in my outfit. I just bought like some little PLT tracksuit because I can't come and kill myself for no tracksuit party i'm not doing the most like you guys will be given plt and then that is it there's nothing else i can do but yeah we'll get ready and you guys will just spend the weekend with me i think it's just gonna be like a weekend vlog spend the weekend with me decorating partying and then i've got brunch with a friend tomorrow so it's a cool 
couple weekends before my birthday. My birthday is next weekend and I actually don't think I'm going to be doing anything besides chilling with my daughter, go out to eat with her, that sort of thing. But yeah, I'm going to catch you guys when I'm inside. Hey guys, so I'm finally home and thought I would just do like a quick little um, haul of some of the things that I picked up. I didn't really get that much, but I definitely got like enough to start my decorating process and there isn't really much decorating it's more of a decluttering that i need to do but yeah so i just picked up this little vase from ikea i got this to store my um cotton pads in because there's literally nothing i use more than cotton pads so this is going to go on my makeup table my dressing table and then i got this lamp to go on my work desk and i got this from home sense which was 19.99 really cute has like a little marble effect on here it's like a shimmery marble and then it's gold and yeah so really really cute i didn't want to get anything pink today but i think i just need to accept the fact that i do love the color pink so i've got a pink chair it's really really gorgeous it's very very it's very similar to the one i've got here but the legs are silver so i'm gonna need to spray paint the legs silver at some point i'll take the let me just take the wrap off now oh it's proper silver you know I don't know if I'm going to be able to spray paint it because also like the armrest is silver as well but I don't think I can like disassemble it maybe I can no I can definitely that so I'll spray I'll spray paint it gold to just match the theme of my room guys I'll show you that in a second and then I just got this cushion from home sense i don't know why really but it was just really pretty so i decided my room's gonna be like wood white black um what's like wicker like this basket and pink and green and gold did i say all the colors so that's the theme i'm going for you know you know like bohemian chic like i think that's what it's called like very girly so yeah this is a really really nice cushion i love cushions i've got quite a few so we've got this and then i just really liked this plant <laughs> so i picked it up i'm gonna pull it on my work desk and then just a blanket because i like working with blankets so it's a really nice soft white blanket and then i got this massive wicker basket so when i'm not using the cushions and the um the throw i'm gonna like store them in here to look really really cute and then i picked up this bamboo wood um what do you call this it's like a um a stand for my laptop i hope my laptop fits in it and then i got this huge artificial plant from ikea which was 45 pounds and then just that basket which was 19.99 and i also bought one of the um desks that i was showing you guys Ew. Yeah, I bought one of the desks that I was showing you guys, but I will need to assemble it in order to show you because it currently just looks like this. Well, let me show you guys the tracksuit I'm going to wear tonight. I haven't even shown you guys my heels that I got from Ego. They're absolutely stunning. This looks really good in real life. Oh, I wanted it to be really tight. I think it's going to be quite big. Let me try them on real quick. Oh my God, it's so big. It's not massive, but it's massive at the same time. I wanted it to be nice and tight and sexy. Like, why would you have a bloody tracksuit party? Oh, this is not tight, even in the slightest. Guys, I'm wondering if I can, like, make it a little bit more fitted on me. Let me try the top one as well. This is just not cute. I'm wondering if I can hem it. I don't think I can. Anyway, let me show you guys. This is like, this is too big. This is giving running errands. And it's just got like PLT and crystals. Anyway, let me show you guys my heels. Let's see if the heels can bring it together. I highly doubt it. I've got them in gold as well. They just look like that. I think they're so cute. And they just look like, oh, these are so pretty. I'm annoyed now because what am I going to do? Like, anyway, everyone's wearing a tracksuit. There's 
you can only look so good wearing a tracksuit i guess so it's just gonna have to do i just had like an image in mind where it was gonna be nice and tight like it was gonna look like this nice and big and then i was just gonna be looking all sexy but it's not given that it's given like baggy sha this is baggy as fuck <laughs> okay maybe if i wear it as like low riders like hip right what do they call it hip riders yeah i think i prefer it on my hips so like down here okay okay it's given a little bit more it's given a tiny tiny bit more so like if i wear it like down here and then obviously i'll have my bra on so my tits will be pushed up a little bit it's still giving like bagisha in this area but this area i can defo like um shorten the crotch now these heels are so look, look guys so pretty can we go back to the beginning i can't believe that we have ended my heart is so cold it's depressing you no longer know me I don't know you Drinking to numb the pain I'm missing I'm feeling so down now it's nostalgic Do you remember All of those nights we spent in Los Angeles And going downtown Hollywood Boulevard hanging out the top this is my table's not this long <laughs> why would i think this is for me it has to be it has to be this is not making any sense that's not guys i'm gonna have to pick this up i'm going for brunch tomorrow so i'm gonna have to do this again um i don't know like monday or okay then Yes, clean. <laughs> I don't feel my best. I'm um, 
just laying my wig at the moment i need to do my eyebrows because as you can see these things look crazy so yeah i'm just trying to like lay my wig then i'm gonna to be honest my wig looks pretty good so even though from you lots of you right now it looks insane but it actually looks pretty good um but yeah i'm just gonna do my eyebrows and my lashes and then how do what do i normally do i think i finish my hair and then i'm gonna do my makeup my skin is so dry at the moment guys you guys know my skin is always dry like it literally just always dry um but yeah as i was saying i don't really feel my best i had nando's so but i'm actually quite hungry i had nando's like two hours ago but i actually feel like i'm starving but at the same time i feel quite tired maybe because i've been up since like 7 30 went to the gym did all of that shopping today and i've decided i'm just going to take everything back well not everything like just the stuff and i'm not going to buy another table because that is actually just a bit extra so i'm just going to take everything back and not buy another table because it's actually not needed i'm going to um but yeah basically the room's almost done i just need like a rug and a big mirror and just like a few things here and there but it's pretty much done now Guys, I'm gonna do everything off camera because this robe is making me so hot. Plus I look crazy anyway. So I'm gonna come back when um, I'm done to show you guys my outfit and then I'll take you guys out with me as well for a little bit. Hey guys, so I'm all ready and my outfit is actually given like 90s bad bitch. So I'm not too upset anymore. Like I think I managed to pull it off. I've gone for trainers, the girls are wearing trainers so it's just going to be a comfortable night tonight. I didn't have time to fit. What's in my pocket? Perfume. Guys, you guys know what perfume I'm wearing tonight. I am boiling. I'm so hot. I'm going to be sweating like crazy today. But I'm not upset. Like, I feel like I'm giving 90s bad bitch faces pretty. You know, wearing the velour tracksuit like they did back in the day. So yeah, I feel good, look cute. Might find me a man tonight. I'm joking, guys, I'm sounding like a proper on a boyfriend. I really don't, but I just want someone to cuddle. That's all. I cuddle my daughter. Prada bag. Prada, let me call my cab. I made myself a little cocktail, so let me finish that. And I also need to pee. Where is my phone? Okay, 10 p.m., definitely leaving now book my my bolts I, I owe bolt money but they don't know that how do I I don't even know how to call a cab how do you call a cab guys my office is a mess already that's just how it goes I'm going to yes choose no I don't want to choose where to done how do you do these things? That's not even working. I'm not driving. Okay, bolt. Select bolt. Confirm. We are off. Looking for a driver. Three minutes. I've been in the gym, but my belly won't go. That's just life. Wow, my belly. So I made myself a cocktail. This is carrots, ginger, pear, apple, and orange with a shot of uh, Casamigos. It tastes really good. I'm gonna need to pee. Okay, guys, I'm not bringing. Obviously, I'm not bringing this big old camera with me to an industry party. So I'm just gonna take my phone. And I don't really like. I'm that person where you will never, ever, ever know if I've gone out from social media because I find it so weird like filming the club and posting it on my story like okay then <laughs> so um I'm gonna try and remember like remember to film because it's something I never do I never ever pull out my um my phone but guys my cab's here so I'm gonna go now have a good night y'all <laughs> It's like 
four in the morning and I've just got home. What time is it? I'm really sad because I need to now take my makeup off, do my skincare, have a shower and all of that. This place tonight was such, it was just so hot. So like, so, so hot. But um, <laughs> this hand, I'm not washing it because Damson Idris kissed it. So this hand needs to go a lifetime. But that man, that man, if you guys think you've seen a sexy man before, you're actually lying. You haven't seen Damson Idris. That man is so attractive. Like, I knew he was attractive before. But seeing him in real life, okay, yeah, sorry. That man is that man is a special man. But yeah, I'm actually so tired. I had it all right now. It was a good night. Um, I'm just a little bit upset at the fact that I need to go out today to brunch. Like I've missed my friend who I'm seeing today and stuff. But I'm actually really tired and like my feet are killing me. My um, even like behind here. It's killing me. Oh my gosh, my wig, my wig. Like in that place was so hot. I could just feel my wig rising. Like, you know when, <laughs> you know when you're in somewhere hot and the humidity just makes your wig just look like a real, like a wig. I could feel that happening. Oh, my neck. Oh my gosh, I can't believe I have to do my skincare right now. This is just, what is life? But yeah, I felt cute. I felt pretty. Um, I love going out because it reminds me I've still got it. When I don't go out, obviously I don't meet men and I don't like even women, like so I don't really get any compliments. And sometimes I think like, have I still got it? Like, am I still a bad bitch? But I am, of course I am. Anyway, guys, I need to take my makeup off and have a quick shower before I get into bed. So I'm gonna catch you guys in the morning when I need to go to brunch. Morning, guys. So. It's the next day and I'm just getting ready to go to brunch and um, guys I can't express how much this life just isn't for me anymore like going out partying I think I think I'm done like my days of doing all of that is actually over the only reason why I even go is because these are the only times I actually get to like meet people but it's it actually takes a toll on me like now I'm gonna be finished for like the next three days. Like literally. That's like I'm but I was always like that to be fair. I was going partying when I was younger and then that's it. My mum wouldn't see me leave my room for the next two days. <laughs> and then she'll always be like, Girl, this this life is not for you and she's so right. But I've definitely reached that age where I can't keep up. I actually can't keep up with the young kids anymore. Like, I'm 26 on Sunday, and I feel like I'm 40. Like, I definitely feel like I'm 40. But yeah, do you know what I find so crazy? When I went out last night, I was seeing so many people that I didn't expect to see, as in, like, people from my past. Like, so, so, I did not expect to see them. And, like, I just saw a bunch of people I haven't seen since I've had my daughter. And I just found it so funny how they kept saying to me, wow, like, you still look good, though what do you mean i still look good what do women have babies and go down a hill or something of course i still look good I, I look even better like i'm definitely making more of an effort to present myself and just look good because i don't want to be one of those people where motherhood like com consumes me and it takes over me someone commented on my recent video saying wow i didn't know you were a mum and for a split second i was like damn like does it look like i'm trying to hide the fact i'm a mom or something but i do feel like i mentioned the fact i have a daughter in every single video and i'm definitely not i just don't my content isn't about motherhood but spoiler alert i am starting a podcast my mic is coming today and i do want to talk a bit about motherhood in there but not in the way you think i'm going to be talking about it but yeah i do i'm just going to give you guys real unfiltered conversation about motherhood because i feel like that's needed but the whole plat the whole podcast isn't about motherhood it's about my new um it's about my new venture women making moves and a part of it and a part of my life is the fact that i'm a mum. so i'm gonna be incorporating some motherhood talks within that but yeah i just don't want to be one of those women where 
being a mum consumes me and then that's all I am and like that's all I like I don't want to be I like being a mum isn't my purpose I love my daughter I love being a mother but I understand and recognize that I'm a separate person away from that so I still try and live my life like that i know it's very easy to have children and yeah that become your whole entire life but for me one thing i always said was i'm not gonna have kids and let that be it like let that be who i become where you see me and you just know yeah she's she's a mom like she's she's got a lot on her plate like that was never going to be the case like, i still put myself first like well as equal to my daughter like i i'm i'm a lit mum. like i'm not out here just being a mother like there's so much more to me and i want mothers to recognize that like their don't their lives don't stop just because they've had children like it's really important because it's definitely so easy to feel like okay well my life doesn't matter anymore now that you've got kids but you also have to remember your kids are going to get an age get to an age where obviously they're still going to care about you but it's just it's almost they won't forget you of course but they will move on and they will have lives of their own and then because you spend so much time putting your all into them it's very easy to end up alone and be left lonely whereas i really didn't want that to be me and i want women young women especially that have had children who are pregnant to just remember like away from your kid you're still your own person like never forget you never forget who you are so i make an effort to look good feel good go out see friends socialize i do that very rarely but i, I do it <laughs> as much as i can do it like and what's enough for me um but yeah i just found it so funny how i was seeing people and they were like raw like you still look good though <laughs> i was just thinking what was supposed to happen was i supposed to have my baby and just fall off never that would never ever 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 be me i would actually never allow that to be me guys you guys you guys can't even tell how flawless the beat is looking right now on this camera it looks i think it's like the light but in real life i just look so dewy i feel so good i was having such weird dreams last night but yeah so um i just thought i'll check in this morning while i'm getting ready i'm gonna finish getting ready and then show you guys the fit i want to wear heels but honestly standing up last night has just ruined and i was wearing trainers but it's just completely like my feet feel like I might as well have been wearing heels. Um, I want my heels, but I am getting public transport, so I probably shouldn't. As I also might end up doing some a bit of shopping, maybe just some window shopping, and I need to be able to walk around freely. So maybe I shall leave the heels alone. Like if you're a mum, if you're planning on becoming a mum, please like don't let yourself go. It's actually doesn't matter. I did forget to put my powder on, but it's actually good to put it on once you put your um, blush on because it just looks more flawless that way. That's actually how I should be doing it. Okay. Here's the fit for today, guys. Literally just an oversized shirt which has like this knot in the front and then some leather trousers and my jacquemus bag because i never wear it and i'm just going to put on flip-flops because my feet are hurting and i'm going to be walking around and um, this shirt is really really oversized so i have to like tuck it in the back but yeah just something so simple um i need to leave i'm gonna have to like drive halfway there because i don't know the trains are acting up here so I'm going to drive, I don't even know where I'm driving to, but I'm going to drive and just keep driving until I see a station that will take me there. Guys, so I'm in the cab. The way London works is I always have to like drive halfway to my destination and then I get like cab rest of the way to avoid paying for congestion zone. And um, I think I'm running like 10 minutes late. Um, I look cute. This shirt is so big, like it's so oversized. I'm wondering if I've got a medium or a small, I'm not too sure. Let me give you guys some views of London. I'm gonna put you out the window. Let's be tourists today. JK, my arm hurts, that's enough. That's enough to tour in for today. 
bag is so impractical like maybe it's my kids maybe my kids are too big and that's why um it's not closing hopefully you guys can see me i'm still walking I'm four minutes from my destination so so much walking i'm actually glad i only drove halfway here because it was definitely a bit of a mess um <laughs> I'm really lucky that this shirt is really big and breezy. Should we stop for a quick car trip? I don't do any more because when I do it, nobody cares. So, check this out. If you guys come a little bit closer, make me look like I have an audience. Just a little bit. I don't need any volunteers. This is my private smoker. <laughs> Say hi. Guys, this is my beautiful friend Shante. She also has a YouTube channel, so I don't know why she's being shy right now. Why is it really? <laughs> oh, where is your tripod? Shante. I know your bag is small. <laughs> it can't even fit my like my life. It can't fit anything. It's gonna be I know. Find a couple. Let's make a tripod. No, but then no one can I'm bare sweaty man. No, they can't see me. Okay, I talk too much about vlogs anyway. Oh, thank you. Oh, you're so lovely. Oh, thank you so much. <laughs> Fun tasting. I'm waiting. You know I'm going to sing happy birthday. I'm waiting for her to sing happy birthday to me, guys. She doesn't want to sing. Happy birthday. Do I blow it out or does it go out? It's blowing my face. Birthday now. I don't think I've ever spent a Shanti, birthday with you. We're gonna be 20. Oh, why do I always hide from my birthday? You hide from your friends on your birthday. <laughs> why do I do that? Please, I don't want to think about my age. Um, Shante, we're gonna be 26. Yeah. That's crazy. Wow. So, what do I? I don't want to eat it. It's so pretty. I was listening. Oh, I was listening to that podcast you recommended in your video. Which one? Sarah, oh, okay, yeah, yeah. No, what? Can you hold this, please? Just, just for like a few seconds. <laughs> Am I meant to be vlogging? Is it vlogging? Yeah. Okay, that's fine now, guys. It's my birthday. I'm 26. Thank you, guys, for blessing me with life. Well, not thank you, guys. Thank you, God. <laughs> Okay, I'm a bit tipsy from last night, guys, but it's fine. You're not gonna thank your subscribers. Yes. Oh, thank you, subscribers, for you know just always supporting me. Okay, thanks. Bye. Peace. Yeah. <laughs> I was recording the um, what is it? What's it called? The magician, and he was like, guys, this is my personal stalker. <laughs> I just walked him right today. I stopped and filmed him. Oh, it's not there. Oh, that was easy. Oh my god, a man with two heads! Ah! They do that. I actually need to know how they do this. I don't know, I want to push them. Let me go closer. <laughs> <laughs> hey, these shoes are 70 pounds. Look at these people. Rip off. These are good for Yeezys. These are Yeezys. Yeah, is it 70 goods? No, Yeezys is 70 pounds. That is 270 pounds. <laughs> it does suit you. Yes, this is the one I want. Oh, I might buy this for my birthday. I think you should. It suits you. And but be consumerism, like guys. Hello, it's your babes checking in. <laughs> Consume, I'm, guys. I haven't done any hauls anymore because I'm just so sick of being a consumer. I'm actually tired of just spending money and just always putting money into other people's pocket. Even though I do kind of like this bag right here. This is a cute bag, but I'm not even buying myself anything for my birthday. I still, this bag is quite cute. Let me show you guys. This is quite nice. Um, I might get this. This is quite nice. Oh, I like that. 
This is what I was showing you. It's small, do you think? I mean, if I'm gonna get one, how much is it? 2045. I want it bigger. Try it on. That looks like a lawyer's bag. But my just reminds me of my magic bag. Oh, I see. But it doesn't matter if we have bags that look similar to each other, though. Because you're going to have loads of bags, you know? No, guys, as I was saying, no more consumerism. <laughs> just always spending money. <laughs> I do like this bag, though. Can I try it? It's <laughs> cute. Oh, look how it goes with my outfit as well. Can you hold this? Oh, it's not the wrong way around. I thought it was the wrong way around. It's cute. No, it's cute. Do the crossbody, do it crossbody. This is a holiday bag. What your Japanese one? Yeah. And I love that this is like a what do they call it? A reimagined classic. A reim so why is it called the Diana bag? Does she Princess Diana first had this in 1990? Wow. Girl, I think you should. Wasn't she a lawyer as well? Didn't she study law? Or am I making that up? Probably I'm just making it up, you know. I like this. A very long time ago. So do people ever just like wear it without the strap? Um, well, mostly you wear with the strap, but it depends as well. Like, um, you know, some of the because um, this one in other boutiques we do have a smaller size as well, okay. so they kind of like you know invented themselves oh, and they get a bit Oh, okay. Right? So they would multiple ways that like, yeah. you can play around. I like that. Yeah. yeah, I really like this one. Nice and casual, and it seems like it will be spacious as well. You really do have to put a bag on you to know. I just saw that hanging Yeah, you know what I'm saying? I didn't notice it ever until I saw that girl today. It's <laughs> <laughs> They're cute though. And he's a little bit tight. I really like this bag. Oh my gosh. Okay. So that's nice to show you. In the meantime, with the element of the print. Yeah. Yeah, the trick for you. What about the smaller hill? The smaller hills are very running. Well, they call it a kitten hill. I think the high heels dress you in like a proportion as well. Hey guys, so I'm finally home from my day out with my friend. And I just thought I would come in and end this vlog because I was thinking, even though you guys haven't seen my room completion, one, it's never really going to be completed, is it? Like with furnishing, that's something that takes a lifetime. Like you're always buying and adding things. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to end this weekend's vlog here as it is Sunday. And then I will um, start a new I guess like a, no I'm not going to start a vlog tomorrow what I'm going to do tomorrow is a um how I recover from a busy weekend because my house that says it all and yeah so I really hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog I'm in a really good mood at the moment I just feel so good um what do I want to say I'm very conscious of how much I speak so now it's like my mind is blank because it's like girl you talk too much you guys know if i continue this vlog we will actually be here forever so um i guess this is bye but i don't want to go <laughs> i should have been an actress you know <laughs> oh god anyway i actually don't have anything to say but i want to talk to you guys some more but i don't have anything to say so i'm gonna just leave y'all let me know if I should vlog my well my weekends aren't always busy it's too I'm an old woman I don't I probably said this already but I'm an old woman there's only so much I can like I can't do this often like probably once every two months like I can't socialize often because it just drains the life out of me like it's quarter to eight now and I'm just waiting for my daughter to come home so that we both can just jump in bed obviously I'm gonna take my makeup off have a shower and i'm gonna jump in bed and then she she should be home and then she's jumping in bed and we're i say i'm gonna have an early night but i'm just gonna but like, i'm not touching my house today that ketchup bowl you guys see on the table is staying right there 
so yeah i'm gonna end this vlog here because look two minutes and 42 seconds what have i said nothing i'm gonna speak to y'all later i'll see you in the next one bye hope you enjoyed don't forget to like comment share and subscribe I'm a bit sick okay bye